Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to show you why there is 180 degree phase shift in the output of the common emitter amplifier. See, we are applying one sinusoid input in the base and we are taking the output from the collector. So the emitter is basically common in between input and output. So this is common emitter amplifier, clear? And see, this input uh, is starting from the positive half cycle but see the output this is amplified but it is starting from the negative half cycle so why there is 180 degree phase shift we will discuss in our this video see here the emitter is directly grounded so that we can say that is ve or emitter voltage is equal to zero so basically we can say that is vbe that is base emitter voltage for this case is equal to v b minus v e clear so as here v e equal to 0 so we can say v b e equal to v b or base emitter voltage is equal to basically base voltage now suppose the v i this is basically base voltage because it is directly connected to the base of this transistor this is npn transistor because the emitter current is in this direction so basically for this NPN transistor the input voltage or VI is basically the base voltage or VB. Now suppose when VI increases then VB increases that means obviously VBE will increase and we know for NPN transistor IC equal to what is the equation IS into E to the power VBE that is base emitter voltage by vt or thermal voltage so from this equation it is clear that if vbe increases then obviously ic will exponentially increase that means with small increment of the base emitter voltage there will be a huge in increment in the collector current so as the vi increases the vb increases that means vbe will increase that means collector current will increase so if vi increases the collector current flowing through this rc or collector resistor will increase and what is the expression for v output see v output is basically this is vcc minus icrc equal to v output so write this equation v output equal to vcc minus ic into rc clear so this is the expression for output voltage for this common emitter amplifier so now see if IC or collector current increases, V output will decrease. So, if the VI increases, that means the base voltage for this NPN transistor will increase. As a result, the collector current for this transistor will increase and as a result, V output will decrease because if collector current increases from this expression, it is clear that is V output will decrease. So, from here, what we can get? If VI increases, then the collector current IC will also increase then basically this is IC or collector current then basically V output decreases so with increase in VI V output decreases similarly we can say that with decrease in VI V output increases okay so that means this is 180 degree phase shift when VI increases V output decreases and when VI decreases V output increases now let us discuss the same circuit in simulation that is we will do the multi scene simulation for this circuit see i have already made the multi scene circuit of this common emitter amplifier see this setup is basically voltage divider biasing this c2 and c3 are basically coupling capacitor okay and this c1 is basically what c1 is basically the bypass resistor it will bypass the whole current uh, when we do AC analysis, the capacitor becomes short circuit and it will bypass the whole emitter current. And then in that time, R2 can be omitted. Okay. So this is basically the common emitter amplifier. We are applying small input voltage in the base and VCC 10 volt is basically for biasing. Now, if we run the simulation, see what is happening. This is oscilloscope. We get the oscilloscope output before going to that. Just see the connection. See the input is basically red color see we have connected the 
ए टर्मिनल ऑफ द ऑसिलोस्कोप विथ रेड वायर ओके सो द इनपुट विल बी रेड वेव फ्रंट एंड सी बी इज बेसिकली द कनेक्टेड विद आउटपुट सो बी इज बेसिकली व्हाट बी इज बेसिकली द आउटपुट दैट इज ब्लू वेव फ्रंट वेव फ्रंट सो लेट अस चेक सो व्हेन वी रन द सिमुलेशन वी गेट दिस ओके सो नाउ वी स्टॉप द सिमुलेशन सी द द रेड वन इज बेसिकली द इनपुट वेव फ्रंट एंड द ब्लू वन इज बेसिकली व्हाट blue one is basically the output of form now if we place the cursor first of all notice one thing what is that see when channel a see the channel a is basically channel a is this one which is connected with the input so the channel a is basically this this one is input and this blue one is basically output okay so now see the channel a voltage is 19.844 millivolt and see the channel b that is output is 3.598 volt that means huge amplification as we know that common emitter amplifier can act common emitter configuration of the transistor can act like a amplifier so it is clear that voltage is amplified but see this is minus value so obviously here 180 degree phase shift when this input voltage is positive the output voltage is negative and see if we change when the input voltage gets negative sign then output voltage gets positive sign but always there is amplification now there is minus 12.803 millivolt and here the output is 2.154 volt because this is channel b and if you check the initial point see the starting point it is starting point the from the positive half cycle and it is starting from the negative half cycle so obviously the output has 180 degree phase shift compared to the input okay so basically this common emitter configuration can act like a 180 degree phase shifter and with amplifier so you remember this thing this is very important concept for analog electronics for electronics and communication engineering students that is for common emitter amplifier always output uh, voltage is 180 degree phase difference output voltage has 180 degree phase difference compared to the input one clear this simulation i have shown you by multisim software this is all for my this video in my next video i will show you some more concepts and for new concepts and new videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching